Good morning, BoatingBetter.com fans. Captain Larry here with Chapter 18. <coughs> Off we go on another voyage. Uh, we're getting close to the finish line here. So I wanted to show you I've done three of the headrests. I wanted to save the last one uh, for demonstration purposes so you get to see everything. And this is the one we're going to have to make the foam because we didn't, one of the headrests were lost. So we're going to have to make the foam for this one. So this will be a real complete one. I'll be a little jerky coming in and out, but uh, I don't know any other way to do it. First thing I wanted to show you is my friend made this new, these are the backings we're using now uh, for the Mariah project. I put some of these T-nuts here uh, so we can screw and hold them in, but this is all at a good angle, uh, supported at the proper angle, and like I say again, it's just screwed and screwed, screwed. So I think it's going to be quite tenacious. This is Mariah's answer to their project. Uh, terrible. Uh, not to be disparaging to Mariah, but if that's what you're putting there, they're expensive boats, and putting this crap in there is really a shame. Uh, as you can see, it's all warped. Uh, and what bothered me the most, there was no, there was no screws or glue. All they used was staples, and they didn't even, I don't know if you can see this, they didn't even bevel that backing there, like this one here is. So it didn't, didn't even sit right. So this was a product was destined to break. So shame on Mariah. You have a Mariah boat. I'm sorry for you. So we'll do try to do a little bit better job uh, with this one. I think this is going to be nice, nice and sturdy, and I think it will it will last. The boat's a 2001, so it's not surprising that it deteriorated. Okay, here are the pieces that we put together. I wanted to show you how to do this for the headrest. Now, what I do always recommend. Fortunately, we had four of them, so. Uh, I took one apart for the template to make these pieces and uh, of course I like to leave the other ones together so if you get confused you have the master uh, already put together and you can follow that obviously make sure you get the right side now, I want to show you how to sew the sewing on these is really tricky uh, I haven't done too many headrests thank God and uh, they are hard and there's a lot of turns and curves and if you can see these are the sides again what we had to do is we had to score the piping so that it bends and you can see over here the bend is very very comes right back on itself so i had to put a bunch of uh bunch of scores in there in order to make that curve and hopefully this somewhat straight is going to sew okay so we'll show you that both sides. Uh, again, this was just a piping demonstration. We've done piping over and over again, so there's really nothing to learn there. But we haven't uh, we haven't assembled an entire headrest, so that's what I want to do today. So we had piping on the two sides. We also had piping on this kind of the yoke. I call it the yoke area there. So I left the piping on the yoke, and this one is clean. And again, we don't have the Mariah embossing. I don't have that capability, so we just made a plain one. So that will go here. So uh, let me show you how you uh, get started on this, and off we'll go. Hold on one second. The way I like to do this is kind of lay it out so I don't get too confused. And what I did, I don't know if you can see that, I measured across here with my trusty transparent ruler. And I got the center here and, and marked it, marked it on the piping on where the yoke is. And then I took and I measured this the same way, and I marked the center of that. So hopefully that should be lined up. So again, put good face on on good face. You find our two marks. We go right up, get right. Let's make sure, we're, and then we do a nice straight seam edge right there and we, we do it now as I mentioned before when, you, when you're trying to 
do these curves. I find it best to try to fold things and it, it works best for me. So what I try to do is I bend it like this and I bend this like that and I tack it. So we've got one tack, line them up. Twist again, bend. So we'll try to get this thing to lay. See, that's a, that's a lay. It's flat there. You hit the corners, you've got to staple a little bit more. We finished tacking. I just want to show you on the long stretches, you can do fewer. But when you get in these corners, it really helps if you put a few extra tacks in there. So we're pretty smooth all the way around. A little bumpy there. A little bumpy there. So we've got to make sure when we sew that we, we massage those down so we don't get any wrinkles. So let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, let's see. I think we'll start on this side and then kind of work the whole way up the whole way around. Staples out now, and always double check because you like marbling this one. If you look at our seam there, it looks pretty good. I don't see any significant separation. It's pretty tight all the way around, so I guess we're okay. And now we've got to put the sides on. Again, let's check, make sure which side is which. And again, I mark them. I got right, right side and left side, as hopefully as I look at it. And if I get confused, I'll bring it over to the uh, master and I check it and say, yep, that's right. So that belongs on this side. So now what we do, we've got to do more stapling. Now, let's make sure we get this right. Okay, welcome back here. I've got the staples out and I just want to show you that. Check the seen here and it looks all pretty good. We got uh, I don't see any gaps or anything like that. Now I've tacked on the same exact thing that I did for the center. I tacked on the right boxing strip. Uh, not too much uh, miraculous about this. Uh, I just started from the, the tip down here and stapled around it again. And when you get on these corners you gotta put some extra staples on because it's hard. So you gotta fold Staple, staple, staple. Again, you see my relief cuts that I did on the on the piping because it's a very tough corner there. And then now this is pretty much straight away, so you don't have to tack as much. A little bit more on this corner, and then the end. Okay, let's let's sew this thing. And now we're sewing. <laughs> You don't re sew, you get a fold in there. So, massage both sides. Make sure everything's laying nice and flat. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We got it sewed. Wasn't anything remarkable about the, remarkable about the sewing. Again, you just have to, because you do this inside out like that. In, you just got to put, on the stretches is it okay, but when you get into these really tight corners like this one, you've got to put just a lot of staples, like every half an inch, put another staple so that material stays together. And then when you're done, again, go and check your seams, make sure they're all nice and tight all the way around. Not bad. Both sides. Not bad. So there, that's our original. This is our duplication. Uh, I guess it looks about the same. Then we don't have the uh, Mariah. But otherwise, it looks good. I think it looks good. I think it would be okay. So now, 
Now we've got to build the foam, which is going to be a real struggle. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done a home, uh, headrest foam, so it's going to be a, going to be a struggle. But we'll, get, we'll work it together and uh, see how we do. I'll be right back when I get I'm back, everybody. All I've done is got the foam now, and this is our backing for the headrest. And I simply marked along the side and then rolled it over and scored that too so we know what we're doing. Now, I may lose more because of this piece of wood here for support. I may lose more than I was planning on, but I think I'm going to cut it straight. These are going to have to be cut at an angle eventually. But I think I want to cut it straight first and then uh, see if I got enough. I might have to I might have to add some more. So I'm, I'm not going to I'm going to, what I'm saying is I'm going to make this a little wider than I probably need to. Yeah, let's see what we do here. I've got another wrench on it anyway. Whole black and decker thing is fantastic for going through this foam. Okay. So here's our test piece. Let's see. Is it going to work for us or not? You gotta push down and get that wood thing, uh, you know, in there. So that's the way it's gonna go. Check our check our seams here. That looks pretty good. Push down on it. Okay, so we got too much. So what we'll do is now, I think we're pretty comfortable. That this is gonna work. Yeah. Score that. to be able to get that new cover on is to get it to so this goes down pretty good I think we'll be able to squish it in this is a little more bouncy foam than that other stuff was so but I we've got to definitely give an angle to this so let's let's cut ourselves an angle that's estimated see I don't know how straight they are but at least now we have some give and hopefully it will allow us to get that cover on uh, let's check one more time and sure we're right here yeah that looks pretty good Followed my own advice and got some newspaper. So I'll make as big a mess as I have. Again, we're going to use our 3M Super 77. Spray on both sides. 
I'm going to put a little heavier than normal because of uh, the virgin virgin foam here. And I think we're just going to have to sit here and hold it. I don't know how else to get this thing to behave. either success or failure. Well, welcome back Boating Banner fans. Uh, I decided to, to stick it quickly after it set. It did in fact set. This stuff works fantastic. Again, I can't recommend that highly enough. 3M Super 77. It uh, set up in a couple of minutes. Most everything held down okay, but uh, I wanted to just roughly throw this cover on so that the uh, would hold it to the shape that we need. Now, of course, now this foam is totally different than the other foam, and what I was concerned with here's here's one I put together this morning, just roughly tacked, just so that but this is what it, it looks like, and I guess they're gonna I guess it will pass. It, uh, you look from the side, you know, the angle is about, this one's a little softer angle, mine's a little, maybe a little sh sharper. I need to messed up there, but maybe I can pull that down when I staple it. But, uh, not too bad a facsimile. So there it is. You got this done. I will let you go now, and we'll do the, uh, the final stapling on these and uh, we'll assemble them on our uh, uh, backrest and then we'll finish this thing up uh, in the next chapter and we'll make a big review out of it. So how about that? So this is getting close to the end of 18. Uh, so let me uh, get the rest of the stuff together and we'll tack these things uh, for real. Okay, welcome back everyone. So here are more headrests. These three were made with the previous foam, and this is my <laughs> my feeble attempt here to try to duplicate them. I thought I was, I was bigger, but actually, as I measured them, they both come up at five inches as a high point. So I think this is good. Uh, what I do notice it seems that these are flatter in the middle, and mine's a little more puffy. Uh, but again, we're we're competing against uh, foam that was you know blown into a, a mold, and so it had a perfect shape or a shape to it. That we're trying to duplicate it with a piece of square foam, so I don't think I could do much better, frankly. Uh, okay, uh, what I want to do, as you see, I got actually some wrinkles on all of these. I want to steam and do my rough tacking and then I'll do my my hard tacking but I just wanted to watch show you the steam part and you know I've already shown you the stapling part so there's nothing miraculous about that so let's see if we can't get some of these wrinkles out here so we can pull, get the most benefit out of our tug. Yeah, it looks better.
pull this over. See if we can do anything with that. Boating banner fans, we are finished with our headrest and we've assembled them. Just out of curiosity, can you tell <clears throat> out of the four headrests here which one we made from scratch and which one was the original foam? Well, there were three with original foam, as you remember, and one I had to build from scratch. And actually, I, <laughs> I even forgot which one I had done that I remembered. This is the candidate over here. This is the one we did from scratch. I think it looks almost almost identical, if not. The only thing I notice is that these centers are a little flatter, and our new one has a little bit of a, a curve to it, but pushing out, I assume, for the foam. But that might set down as the days go on, because it's very old foam, and it's all brand new foam, so it's a lot more springy. So that will probably lay down. There's our finished product. Everything <coughs> now but the underneath. And uh, I will show you that uh, in the next chapter, chapter 19. We will be totally finished. I'm going to just, I got to tack, uh, put the covering, undercover on and hide them. And then we'll do a quick review of the cost and the time involved. And we will be done with this project. Appreciate you all coming by and hope you have a great day.